Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today we have a super super exciting video because today we're talking about Celine's. Yes, so uh, I have a double unboxing for you today But before I show you guys what's in these boxes, just want to talk a little bit about the brand itself um, Celine it's just super popular this year. I don't know if you you guys but like for me I'm seeing them everywhere you know there there's the Celine Tron bill the the uh, the underarm bags what are they called the trail under shoulder bags the crossbody bag their toad their you know anyways it's just like everywhere I look on Instagram it's something Celine their sunglasses oh I really want their sunglasses so the reason I've not added anything Celine to my collection for some time is because you know, if you know if you've been following the brand, you you know their items seems to kind of go up and down in terms of popularity. So their um the Phantom luggage bag at one point was so popular, everybody had that bag. I'll try to put in that picture. Um, I really wanted the bag at one point too, and you know I think maybe I got it in when the wave was dying down because right now you can buy that bag for about 10, 20 percent of the retail value on the resale market. So. It really didn't hold the value really well. Uh, otherwise, there are, you know there are also more recent Celine belt bag, the Pico bag, is also was really popular when it came out, and now it's kind of like slowing down again. So I do see them on the pre-loved market quite a bit as well. Um, the only one that's kind of maintained <coughs> its popularity and the value is probably their classic bag or the box bag. The box bag is only called the box bag because it's in box leather, I think, the box calfskin. Um, but it's been called the box bag, so it comes in various sizes. The teen size, the smaller one, is the one I kind of really like. Um, but, you know, you guys know I have this rule not to spend on crazy bags this year, but um, regardless, I will, you know, like, it's not... It, it, at the same time, the box, the classic bag, which is really really nice but at the same time it's so simplistic that there are very similar bags out there from other brands so it doesn't i mean you know it, it's really nice and really classic and i would love to have one but it wasn't something that's high on my priority so now this year the triumph logo really blowed up and the triumph logo it's not even that new i think it's 2018 when they first introduced when they changed their creative director so when the logo first came out, it wasn't super well received by a lot of their longer term fans, I think. Um, and only this year, like four years later, I feel like the the logo has become more and more popular. Um, another reason that I've always kind of like stayed away from Celine is because they, they seem to share a lot of similarities to other brands in some ways. Um, you know, their canvas, which is really popular as well, does come in the classic brown and the white different canvas, which kind of reminds me of uh, Louis Vuitton bags, and they tend to use similar color tones for their bags, so there is similarity there. And then with their Trump logo being like, a, you know, the shape of it kind of reminds you of the double C logo, so it kind of just feels like there is either you know, lacking in terms of creativity or just there are similarities to other brand. Anyways, those are some of my reasons why I've never went into it. So uh, for the longest time, you know, people who wanted the Nano Speedy couldn't get one and they went to get the Boston bag from Celine. So it's kind of the alternative bag to the bags that you can't get. But this year, I feel like everything changed. They are standing, they're, they're on their own, you know, they are really standing out. People are really like, loving the brand, loving the vibe, loving this whole like, um, so I've decided this is the time I'm going to start adding items to it. Another good thing, good and bad thing about this brand is they really, really do go on sale. So um, in some cases from a third party, you're able to get a discount because there's a like a site white, like a, there's a promotion going on or something like that. But generally speaking, their items don't really go on sale and they're still somewhat exclusive in Canada because you can't just like get them anywhere. I mean, you can get them through like retail stores, but they're not on like Essence or they're not on those third party website uh, all the time. And even on 24S, they're kind of limited. So I actually ordered these pieces from the official website, which arrived really quickly uh, within a week or so. They were delivered through DHL. Um, the box is just like a plain box, it's a white box, so there's nothing special about it. It comes with these beautiful white 
packaging, which I love. I think it's very classic and very elegant. It has um, an edge to it, but it's a, like a paper paper box, so it's fine. It's not magnetic. At least the items that I have here are like that. And it also gives you a thank you card with Celine here. It's a word there. Just thank you for making the purchase. And a cute little envelope that has your receipt. If you added a special note, it will also be in here. And uh, kind of uh, enveloped to for returns. Okay, time to reveal the items. I think we'll start with this one. It's a smaller item. And so once you open, you lift the box, it's black inside, which I think is very cool, very elegant. And it's black tissue paper, again, really nice. The one thing I find it pretty odd is their dust bag. I think it's unique, but it's not those um, cotton, very breathable dust bag that you would normally get with your luxury items. It's like a polyester, kind of dry, harder um, dust bag, which I guess is more durable. It's like a nylon, um, nylon material with a drawstring here. What's a black drawstring, which is, you know, pretty, but you know, it's different from other ones I'm used to. See, and it's, are you ready? It's a belt. So this is actually their new release of their Triumph belt and it's the skinniest version. So with their beautiful Triumph logo, oh, I have it upside down. It doesn't really matter. There's no right or wrong because it's a Celine on the top and then it says Paris at the bottom. I'm hoping the focus is good. And the finishing on the hardware is the same with their Alder Triumph, um, as far as I know. It's like, it is a shiny hard gold, uh, shiny gold hardware, but it actually, if you look really closely, it's not like a mirror. Like, you, you shouldn't be able to see your reflection. It still is matted, um, but it is a smooth finishing. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm hoping the camera is picking up really nicely. So it didn't have a sticker on it. It just has the foam, protective foam on it. And like I said, it's the skinniest version of the belt. The reason for that is because I've been eyeing, obviously, the, the regular size. I think that's like an inch, roughly an inch wide. This one is only about 1.5 centimeter or 1.3 centimeters wide. Really, really narrow. Um, the, the other version, the medium, I guess, now the medium size is 1.8. So you have 2.5 centimeter, 1.8, and 1.3, roughly. And the reason, obviously, is because I figured the 1.8 and the 1.3 wouldn't be a huge, huge difference. Um, with a skinny belt, you really, you would put it on a dress or put it with your kind of more skinny fit uh, blazers, and it would look really nice. Um, but, you know, I figured I have a lot of wider belt. If you follow my collection, you know, like, there's, I do have, I'll do an, a, um, a belt video at some point. So that's why I want to see whether this one would be too small to wear or not. And I personally think it's okay. So I'm gonna put it on for you guys to see. I'll be right back. Um, I mean, it's it's gonna be small. So if you have a uh, pants with like uh, big buttons or something. So I have on a pair of jeans that has, um, it has like two loops here, which you insert the belt in. And it just have, oh, I didn't show you guys the, the closure mechanism, but let me just put it on for you guys to see. And then we'll talk about it more. So this is it. I hope it's showing okay on the camera because it is pretty small. But it does still show and you can tell it's a Triumph logo. And like I said, because I do have too many of the bigger ones. I think it actually looks okay on this outfit. What do you guys think? It's okay. So this is the skinny one. And it has how many adjustable holes? It has five adjustable holes. And the closure or the belt, you just use this to adjust the size of it. Um, <clears throat> my rationale is also because it does come with such a big buckle, not, not a, 
in, in this case, a small buckle. But if you buy the one inch one, it will be a piece of metal buckle, which over time will really get a lot of scratches on it. I feel like it will show a lot more. On a smaller one, I feel like it will be easier to maintain, um, uh, to maintain and hopefully less scratches over time. And I think also um, my other rationale, again, I thought I really think this through before I buy something. Um, you know, with logos, like I mentioned earlier, like with Celine's, you never know when the trend is going to die down. I feel like if if the trend goes away really soon, then the small ones, it's really not that, it doesn't stand out as much. I might feel a little hesitant to wear a really big logo if this is no longer like the thing. So for example, I have the Marmont, a Gucci Marmont belt, which I love and I still do wear occasionally. And you still see it on Instagram platform here and there, but you know, as it dies down, if you have a really giant GG logo belt, it's a little harder to wear nowadays, I feel. Uh, don't hate me for saying that. And I have the belt myself and I do love it. And I, and I feel like I've really made use of that belt, belt anyways, but it's just something. So I feel like it's safer for me to have a skinny belt, given that I don't already have one, I'll probably make better use of it uh, since it doesn't have to compete with my wider belt. I hope that makes sense. Okay, and now for the more exciting purchase. I hope it's more exciting. So exact same box, you guys. And exact same thing once you open up. The same exact aspect. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. This is the product tag for the belt. So it says teen black. It's actually the teen size, but it's really, really small. It's made in Italy, and this is the product code, if you're interested. Or you can go online, it's one of the newer belts. And this one here too. This is the product tag. So it's the Mini Triumph bag in the tan color. I know I'm telling you guys, but let me just show you. It's so, so cute. Dun -dun. And I've actually like retaped the sticker on because I actually took it out once one day uh, with my daughter already. But this is how it came. So it has a protective film here and it has the strap inside the bag. And this is the logo. Let me just peel it off now that it's already been peeled off once. I do feel like I need to clean it a bit. You can tell with something this big of a logo, it will definitely get scratched up. So another thing is, like I said, because it's not a shiny, shiny hardware, like it is very shiny, but it has like a finish to it. I'll put it close so you guys can tell. Like it's not so much like a mirror. If it's a mirror, then it's probably a a fake one so you guys need to just pay attention to the actual how it looks like how the finish is like but it's such a gorgeous hardware like the way it's designed it's really pretty again same thing Celine on the top and Paris at the bottom and if you open the bag it has the stamp right here it has this film in the back too and I'll just keep that one for now Celine Paris and if you look inside, it actually has one card slot right here, which I think will be good for a small bag to have. Um, don't know if I'll really be using it at all, but we'll do a what's in my bag video, as what, what can fit as well in a bit. So um, it is in this darker canvas, uh, you know, and they have the white one as well. Do they have it in the mini side? They probably, for some reason, they do, do they? I can't remember now. They should. <laughs> in this mini size. They've launched new co newer colors too, so you can go online. They also have the regular box leather black. Um, they have pink. Um, it comes in several several different colors now. So, But this really was only released in November of last year, so it's quite new still. Um, a lot of people are having a hard time getting these at first. I think now they're into their second wave, so it's probably easier to buy. It's available online, so I was just able to order it online, no problem. The inside here is leather as well, but the, it's the not the whole thing is lined with leather. So you have the leather all the way in the back, 
but the rest of the bag is actually just in canvas like brown canvas but it's such a beautiful caramel color it kind of contrasts so nicely with the canvas so it even looks really pretty open now and it's really really tiny so it's definitely a mini bag another thing with these bags see every every time i feel like i'm closing it it'll leave a fingerprint on it so it's like i don't know how i feel about the big hardware um i'm not too sure also about the closing mechanism because it is a button which you have to press down to close and like i said not only it leaves a fingerprint on it it doesn't always close easy unless you have items in the bag so it creates um pressure to be able to push close if it's an empty bag it's actually a little tricky to close at least on this one i'm not sure if that's the case with all of them but that's one of the immediate flaw that i noticed like see it doesn't close easy but as soon as you have a few things in there that keeps the bags open then it's a lot easier to um to close so that's definitely a pretty big flaw in my mind and I'll show you guys how it looks on so all you have to do oh this is the strap I think the strap is quite nice so it does have a hoop to um, to secure the excessive strap and then you have like the two stopper two knobs I guess to make the adjustment um, it has one, two, five adjustable again length and you could actually, I've seen people make it into a belt bag or making it into a shoulder bag. I can show you guys those ways of wearing as well. So all you need to do is you just insert, insert in here. And actually let me, let me do the, what fits in here as well, actually. Just make sure it's the right way to put it in. Okay, just like that. And okay, let's see what can fit in there before I show you guys because like I said, it's a bit tricky to close. So it does fit a regular card holder. I mean, obviously your phone won't fit. I don't know if I need to show you guys that, but it won't fit any phone. Unless if you have that folding phone that's, you know, uh, from Samsung or something, those would probably work no problem because it is actually still not spacious, but actually is bigger than some of the micro, other micro bags I've seen. So if you have that folding phone, it could probably work. It will fold, uh, it will hold the Bastilla from Hermes. So it could, it can hold a, um, Louis Vuitton card holder and hand sanitizer and that's how it looks inside so it's okay uh, you can probably still put a mask on top and that's pretty much it so see once there's items inside then you can actually easily close and this is how it looks on me what do you guys think? I think it's really cute because my uh, most of my items, my, most of my clothing are solid colors. So I do feel like the canvas would really pop on solid color clothing. And most of my clothes are pretty neutral. I, I feel like it's even okay if I wear the belt today. Because the belt is so small. I mean, normally I wouldn't. Like if I have the same size logo, I definitely think that would be too much. But I feel like with a small logo, it's okay. It's still a little odd. <laughs> still a little bit weird to be wearing them at the same time. But, you know, I think it's fine if that's what you prefer to do. But I really think it's a really cute bag. Like I think it's um, as long as you, you're, you're okay with having your phone somewhere else. It can hold most of the things you need, a little bit less, but I can show you guys a few other possible ways. So if you don't need your card holder, which I feel like you might not need to because it already has a card slot, you can put your like license and credit card in there and maybe that will be enough. And this is a six key holder uh, for your cards, so that actually goes in flying as well. But once you have that, you may not be able to fit in a whole lot more. 
if it's like has keys inside. You can do a thin mask. You can play with it, but it does, it's quite limiting. Um, but like I said, it's not too bad compared to some other bags I've seen, like micro bags. Okay, and let's see some other possible ways to wear it. Maybe the opening will get better over time because I feel like it's now a bit easier to wear, a bit easier to use as I uh, play with it. Like this dust bag, you can't even use it to wipe because it doesn't, it's polyester, so it doesn't quite clean nicely, but... Okay, and if you make it shorter, let's see if we can do that. I've actually not tried that at all, but if you make the strap length, see, it's really, really hard to get these out. Maybe you can like just double, okay, there you go. I always find it tricky to remove these straps, these studs, maybe because it's brand new, so it's a bit hard to, if we make it to the sh shortest, will this work? This would be the shortest length that they can do. But even this is long, I guess. It's not bad for one shoulder, <laughs> but I find it a bit odd, to be honest. It's okay if you like to hold it this way. So I guess or I guess if you, if I want to make it into a belt, is that how I would do it? Try not to be too rough with it. So if you want to make it a belt bag. I think for a belt bag, you basically need to loop around twice if you have smaller waist. Or it could be on the body kind of loosely like this doesn't really make sense I think so maybe you need to loop it around a couple times to make that work let's see if we loop it around to make it into a shoulder bag again with shoulder bag I feel like if you're slim it might be okay but if you're like like to wear oversized clothing like me it might look a little funny so this is when you loop it around it's kind of cute i don't know if this works it's not bad i don't feel like anyone would actually use it this way it could be okay it's pretty light the canvas is pretty light so it doesn't, like, yeah, it could work. What do you guys think? Would you carry it this way? Anyways, obviously the most logical way is to carry it as a crossbody, which is what I intend to do. And I'll show you guys one more time before I finish this video. Uh, and I, uh, because it's a canvas, I really feel like I don't have to worry about it, baby it, and I can use it with my kids, which is great. I'll do a quick review once I've used it for some time, but I really, really love it. I do intend to keep it. Sorry, I keep going back and forth. I do intend to keep it. What do you guys think? I hope you enjoyed the video and show, tell me what you guys think of these products. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.